Hello everyone. So in this lesson, we're going to start looking at integers. So Kevin, what are integers? Okay, guys. So integers are numbers like these that you can see on your screen. So they are complete numbers. You see, they don't have any funny decimals like 3,214. That is not an integer. They are all the complete numbers. They include negatives. They include zero and they include one. So it's all the numbers like minus 20, minus 18. So it's any negative and any positive number and also zero. It just mustn't be any weird things with decimals and things like that, like 3,82. None of those. So to define it, I'm just going to say that it's numbers like minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and three and so on and so forth. Now we're going to do some integer calculations, but to help you out in the beginning, I'm going to draw a number line. And the first calculation is going to be minus three plus four. So if you are at minus three, now whenever you plus, you must go to the right. So if you add four, you would end up over here at one. So minus three plus four is equal to one. Next minus 2 minus 6. So if we start at minus 2, now when you minus you must go backwards. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it gives you minus 8. Minus 8 plus 4. So you start at minus 8 and when you plus you always go to the right. And that gives you minus 4. Minus 6 plus 3. So minus 6 is over here and if you plus 3 you go to the right and so you end up at minus 3. For the next ones, why not try pause the lesson or pause the video and try them yourself? So here we're going to do minus 7 plus 3. So you start at minus 7 and you add 3 and that will give you minus 4. 10 minus 12. So technically I don't have a 10 over here, so 10 should be there. And if you minus 12, well then you have to go 12 places back. And so you'd end up at minus 2. 8 minus 10. So you start at 8 and you go 10 back. Why 10 back? Because it said minus, and so you end up at minus 2. Minus 7 minus 3. So you start at minus 7, and then do we go to the right or to the left? Well, because we're minusing, we go left. 1, 2, 3, and so you end up at minus 10. Minus 6 minus 2. So we start at minus 6, and because it's a minus, we're going to go two places to the left, and that's minus 8. Minus 3 minus 2. So you start at minus 3 and you go 2 back, and so that's minus 5. Minus 3 minus 2 plus 4. So now we do three steps. So we start at minus 3 and we minus 2, so that means 1, 2 backwards. Then you plus 4, so now we go 4 forwards. 1, 2, 3, 4. And so you end up at minus 1. So can you see what I did there? I went backwards first, two places. Then I started here and I went four places forward and I ended up at minus 1. Here's minus 8, so we start at minus 8 and we plus 2, so we go 2 to the right and then we plus 4, so we carry on going to the right, 3, 4, until we end up with minus 2. Minus 3 plus 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then you plus 2, 1, 2, and so we end up with 6. All right, guys, but now this isn't grade three. We need to know how to do this without a number line. So let's start challenging ourselves, okay? So think about this, three minus eight. So imagine the number line in front of you. If you have three and someone takes away eight, well, that would give you minus five. Then if you have minus five and you plus two, then you would end up at minus three. And then the last one is minus 3 minus 5 minus 1. So minus 3 minus 5. So minus 3 is over here. And if you minus, you go to the left. And so 3 and 5 gives you 8. So this would be minus 8. Then you're going another one backwards because it's minus. And so after minus 8, you would get minus 9. All right, guys, so there we go. You guys need to practice your integers, and as you practice, they become easier to work with.